Right. Have you sensed like an increased uh, celebrity in the town over the last few days? Man, um, I like, you know, when I'm in my car every now and then, I'm able to relax a little bit, you know. But like when you get in front of the public, get in front of the media, then you get a little bit more uh, aware of what happened, you know, what just happened and how it happened. But I was in the car with my family the other day, and I was like, wow, I feel like I'm in Indiana because we just drive in and just like normal family. And then you go out and you notice everything. Um, it hit me crazy when uh, the lady, uh, Alyssa Milano, he was at uh, CNN yesterday doing a telethon for Larry King, and then she's like, wow, great game. And I was like, wow, she saw the game. <laughs> because I grew up on her. You know? <laughs> I grew up watching Who's the Boss, and I was like, that's crazy. <laughs> and Neil was sitting right here, and I was like, Neil, I said, listen, Milano, man. We grew up on her, and it was just crazy. But, um, yeah, a lot of a lot of support, a lot of a lot of people just happy, you know. I didn't plan for it to be that way because I was just happy. I just won, but a lot of people just real happy, you know. A lot of stars, a lot of stars, which is crazy for me because I seen Oscar De La Hoya and he's just, yeah. I'm like, wow, that's crazy, <laughs> you know. Just, you know, yeah. So it sunk in, huh? Huh? <laughs> so it sunk in. Yeah, there. it finally did. NBA champ. It finally did. It finally did. And um, I was waiting to enjoy it because, you know, I told you I wasn't enjoying the playoffs. Right. I just did not enjoy the ride when I was in it. When I was on the ride, I didn't enjoy it because I was just so much focused on the, like, the ride itself. And finally I got a chance. And when I had that chance, I kind of took advantage of the chance to enjoy it. You know, I enjoyed it with my family, which was the best for two nights in a row, three nights in a row. I enjoyed it with my family. Even on Father's Day, still enjoyed it with my family. And then last night, I kind of enjoyed it by myself. Tonight, I enjoyed my family again, and probably a couple more nights, and then um, go on vacation, and simmer down, rest a little bit more, and then hit it back and get ready, um, and just leave this behind me, and get ready for next season. Ron, what meaning did you take from uh, all of your teammates have said how much they enjoyed watching you specifically get the ring this year? They had it last year. What, what meaning did that give you? It felt good because it, it's like they was all pulling for me. And I've been through a lot this season and put a lot of pressure on myself. I don't know why I did that. I wasn't going to do that when I came here. And I said, you know, we, if we lose, just put it on me. That was like one of the dumbest things I ever did <laughs> because I was playing with that pressure the whole year. But it was cool. I wasn't afraid of it. Like, you know, I wasn't afraid to attack it and I wasn't afraid to fail if I did because I'd go back in the gym and get better. It'd give me a reason to get better. But, you know, um, a lot of pressure, and then playing the right way was the hardest thing for me. Playing how Phil Jackson wanted me to play, it was hard because it was the right way. So you see, like, not not clash, not um, neg not negative clashing, but the style, our styles clashed, and it was good though because we was trying to work towards the same goal. And um, finally, you know, I was learning how he wants me to play, and it was the right way, you know. But it was hard because I never played you know, the exact right way before. Is that what you talked about, or what did you have in your actual interview with him and Mitch upstairs today? Just some um, ways to get better. Um, test with that a little bit, but just ways to get better, and uh, just got to come back better. Like, you know, I'm not playing for a contract. I ain't playing for nothing. I'm playing, f you know, to improve. I just want to improve. Uh, I want to improve until I can't improve no more, you know, and, and I've been doing that for the last couple of years. But I haven't been able to show individually because even when I went to Houston, I took a back seat. I took a back seat to one of my good friends, Shane Battier. I mean, you would probably assume I should start, you know, with Shane. I took a back seat. I wouldn't get in the game until two minutes left in the first quarter at times. Wouldn't play in the fourth at times. Contract year, average going down. Still wound up averaging 17 points, you know, for that for that season. And then when they needed me, I was ready. When they needed me, it wasn't like something new. I was ready to step up in the playoffs, but I'm still playing to improve. Even if I average four points next year, I probably would be the best that I've ever been. I probably would be able to average, you know, 20, 25. But that's not why I'm here. I'm here to win, and, you know, I'm not here to showcase what I worked on this summer. We talk about learning to play the right way. What parts of that was a learning curve for you? Well... Defensively, it was always the right way. I played. I do that all, always the right way. But offensively, 
you know, I played 46 minutes the last game. And sometimes in those situations, I would settle for three. But y'all seen in Phoenix, you know, um, I had some good energy at that time, but sometimes when I get tired, I would settle. But this time in the playoffs, when I was tired, I attacked. And I never attacked this much in the playoffs. Even at Boston, I went to the hole, I actually went to the hole. And um, a little bit in Phoenix, too. And usually I just take a jump shot, a fade away, and the wrong way uh, to play. You know, um, even when I'm on, it's still, even last year in the playoffs I played against, uh, playing against the Lakers, I was taking some jumpers, I was making a lot of them. But I still should attack more. I should use my body and attack, and I would have been even more of a monster in the playoffs. So, you know, this year I, made, I wanted to make sure when I, if I get in that situation again, that I use my ability and just get to the hole. You know, um, and that's what Coach wanted me to do. He wanted me to stop settling for jumpers and attack, and he was right.